Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and today I'm going to show you how to change visuals with buttons and how to create those buttons to change your visuals with selections. So what do I mean by this? So if we take a look at this visual here, right now I am showing my orders by our category. So for example, technology has 1000 sales, uh, 1000 orders. But if I click the total sales button, we have switched this visual where it's now showing us the total sales. And this is a great way to use uh, buttons to have more visuals in a page, but keep that contained and switched by the click of a button. Another example here at the top, I have a line chart for my sales. But if I click this toggle button, I now have a bar chart. So I am switching visuals via the uh, click of a button. It's a really neat trick to free up some space where instead of having two visuals, you can just allow your end user to click a button to switch the data point that they're seeing. So without further ado, let's learn how to create these buttons and um, build the bookmark so that you can do that switch. So the first thing that we want to do is go to insert buttons and then blank. So we now have our first button. We want to select this, go to shape and then round the edges to uh, 40, uh, 38. Next, after we've done that, we want to select fill and change this to whatever color you want the buttons to be. So in my case, I want this button to be orange. I'm going to turn the transparency down. Then for outline, I'm going to set this to orange. And then once we've done that, we want to turn on the text. So this is going to be the first uh, data view that you wanted to show. So in my case, it's going to be the total sales visual. And then I'm going to turn the font white and make the text a bit smaller. And then let's make the button smaller. Perfect, we've created our first button. Let's duplicate this and create our second button. So this is going to be your second view. So for text, this is going to be orders, the orders visual. I'm going to change that. For fill, we want to set this to 65%. And we've now got our second button but right now this isn't dynamic when we hover so select the second button turn the fill on and then go to on hover zero percent so when we hover over that it's zero percent so we've created our two buttons what we want to do now is bring in our visual for our first view so this can be whatever you want but in my case i'm going to bring in uh, the orders visual and let me paste that here now that I've done that, let me just change this to sales. Uh, so I'll bring in another measure. So I'm going to bring in sales. And now we have our sales. Perfect. Once we've done this, select everything there and then go to view, selection, and then let's group this. So I'm going to group this and call this total sales. So let's rename this, double click, total sales. And now we have our first view. Let's duplicate this to create our second view. So that should, if we select everything, it should duplicate everything there. And now we have our second view. Perfect. So let's change the title of this to orders because that's going to be our second visual. Let's do orders. I'm going to change this visual. So let me remove, let me just change this to a line. No, let's do pie chart. And I'm going to remove that put in orders and let me turn off the category. Perfect, so we created our second visual that we want to switch to. Now, what we need to do with our buttons is reverse what we did here. So what I'm going to do is select the orders button, turn the default state to 0%, click our total sales, fulfill, turn this to 65%, and then on hover, we want to set this to 0%. So now we have our two states. And this is represented by our two groups. Let's align this group with the other one. So we're going to align it with the buttons. And what we're going to do now is hide one of the views. So I have hidden orders. The next step is to go to bookmarks and create a state for each of these bookmarks. So right now we're going to go to bookmarks, then add, and I'm going to call this total sales view one. Now, once we've created that first view, we're going to hide that and then enable our second view. Go to add, and let's call this orders uh, view two. Perfect, so we've created our two bookmarks. Now, what we want to do is select the button, go to total cells, turn on action, bookmark, and then reference the other view that we made. So it was total cells view one. So now, when we select that, it is going to switch views. Why is it not select selecting views? Let's turn on total cells. 
let's turn on total sales. If I click view one, and if I select orders, action, turn it to bookmark, let's turn it to orders view two. If I select orders, it will switch to orders two. Then if I select total sales, so let's create the total sales view again, because something's gone wrong there. So let's enable the total sales visual. Let's, del let's dilute, uh, enable that visual, add a bookmark. So we're going to call this total sales view one. Let's switch back to orders. And then for this button, we're going to action, bookmark, total sales view one. Then if we select total sales, it's going to switch to total sales. Then if I select orders, it is going to go to orders. And that is how we create the button switch between the two. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a toggle button instead of uh, two, two of these dial buttons. So what we're going to do is go to insert shapes and once again, no, insert buttons. We're going to go to blank. I'm going to make this slightly bigger so you can see this. We're going to go to shape, round this to whatever you want. For text, we're going to enable. Then in the text column uh, button, what we're going to write is we're going to select the Windows button on our keyboard, select the Windows button, click it, then semicolon to open the Windows keyboard. Now I want you to press search and then write circle and then this button will appear. And now this will put that image or that button uh, uh, inside the text. And if we make that bigger by increasing the text size, let me make this button slightly smaller. We've now got the button inside there. We are going to bring the margin uh, down slightly so it's a bit more central. And what we're going to do is align that to the left. Now, I think this button needs to be slightly bigger. Play around the size of the text and the size of the visual, but that's fine. Now, what we're going to do with the button is go to fill and make this whatever color you want. So in my case, I'm going to make this a blue and then now, when we hover over this button, what we want is text on hover. We want the text to go to the right, so we've aligned it to the left, but on hover, we want this to go to the right. And now we can see that it's switching. And you can play with the color as well. So if on hover, you want the color to change, we can do that. So on hover, we want this to go red. So now, when we hover, it is going red. So we've created our first button. Duplicate this and reverse what you just did. So on fill for the default state, we want this to be red. On hover, we want this to be the blue. And we want the text to sit at the right in the default state because it's the opposite. And then on hover, we want the text to be on the left. So now for this button in view two, we can switch to the left and view one, we can switch to the right. Now what we can do once again is bring these over on top. Let's hide the first button and bring in a visual. So let's just bring this visual here. Group this. So what, like what we did before, we're going to group this. Group, call this toggle button one. Toggle button one. And let's turn that off. Let's turn the second button on. Let's bring in the other visual. Let's copy this visual. Let's group this up with oh, this over here. So we're going to group that. Group, let's call this toggle button two. Let's call that toggle button two. And now we wanna take a snapshot of this view with bookmarks. So I'm going to take a snapshot, toggle button one, and then hide this. So we're going to hide this button, enable the other view, take another bookmark. So toggle button, view two and let's call it toggle button two and now if we select the button action bookmark toggle button uh, view one if we select that we need to take another view i'm making a mistake here every time so let's do toggle button view one and toggle button view two so view two so let's take a screenshot of this once again so view one toggle button one we're going to add Let's call this toggle button one. We're going to hide one, enable toggle button two, add the bookmark, call this toggle button two. And now with this, we can assign an action to the button. 
So bookmark toggle button one. If we select that, they switch to view. And if we select the button, once again for action, bookmark, toggle button, view two, we select that, we are now switching between the two. Brilliant. But what happens now if we select this? Why is this changing? Well, the reason is we took a snapshot of the views where the page linked. So this is going to interact with this. When you're working with bookmarks and buttons, what you want to do is select the free dot and then uncheck data. So what this is going to do is going to delink the page views between other visuals so they don't link. You don't want the snapshot to interact with other visuals besides what you're selecting. So deselect data. And now if we select orders, it will not interact with this. And if we select that, so now for this view, we've got data enabled somewhere. And if we enable that, let's just check our views, data, order view to, there we go. We had it selected there. So now if I select that, it is not going to interact. And if I select that, it won't interact. Perfect. So without further ado, guys, I hope that video helped. I had a few issues throughout that video, but it was literally just with the snapshots. But essentially, that is how it works. So I hope this video helped you guys. Without, um, it's the Power BI guy, and I'm checking out.